Synopsis of the Books of the Bible. Genesis. J. N. Darby. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. And is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 and 17. Synopsis of the Books of the Bible. By John Nelson Darby. Genesis chapter 28. Jacob's Wanderings, a picture of Israel watched over but an outcast. Jacob becomes now the picture of cast out and wandering Israel, heir of the promises, watched over, but an outcast. The wanderings of Abraham were in the land of promise, those of Jacob, out of it, two things very different one from another. God, indeed, was with Jacob, and never left him but Abraham walked with God. In the realization of his presence, he built his altar. Jacob had no altar, he was not in the place of promise. For such a path takes us out of communion. Although God in his faithfulness be with us, we are not with him. However, so soon as he bows to the chastisement, destitute, and with his staff, and a stone for his pillow, God reveals himself to him, and assures to him all the promises, not in the full revelation of communion, but in a dream. And here all the promises are renewed, but with a notable difference from all before, for now, the promise of the blessings to the nations is to him and his seed, for here we are in connection with Israel and the blessing of the earth. Thus it is not merely the one seed, Christ, but the seed of Israel in possession of the land, the millennial possession of the earth. But another promise was added, a precious and important one, that, outcast and a wanderer as he was, God would keep him in all places whither he went, and bring him back to the land, and fulfill all without fail, not leaving him till he had accomplished all. God was above, Jacob, the object of promise and blessing, of the earth, but earth was all under the providential control of heaven, and the angels at Jacob for their care, ascended and descended, accomplishing the will of God. See note. Awoke up. Jacob binds himself to Jehovah as his God, for Jehovah stood at the top of the ladder, and thus he became, prophetically, the God of a restored Israel, with whom, though far from heaven, was the house of God on earth in connection with heaven. It was a legal though just vow and all prophetic. He is now a stranger, and in many things represents Christ afflicted in the affliction of his people. Note. Christ is the object in John, the ladder is merely to connect the scene. End of note.